Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MatTube. In this video, we are going to learn type 3 cone. Okay, this is a very different type than uh, what you call than compared to type 1 and type 2. But those who learn pair of straight lines long back, maybe in class 10 or 11, might remember something analogous that you did in 2D. I'll explain that first. So we take a two dimensional plane and we take a conic section. It can be a circle, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola, whatever. So uh, let's take a parabola. And now a line cuts the parabola and uh, what you call, you can see that two points of intersection are there. Now, long back what you did is, you learned how to write the equation of the pair of lines passing through the origin and the intersection. See, can you see the blue lines? What is the, special of the speciality of the blue lines? They pass through the origin and the intersection of the two lines. Okay, and the method was, method that you learned long back was very simple. What you do is, you homogenize the conic you homogenize the conic using the line meaning make the equation of the conic into a homogeneous equation by borrowing a few factors from the line okay anyway uh, we'll come to that method now now look at this now we can see a three dimensional version so instead of the instead of the conic instead of the conic uh, what we see here is a um, conicoid uh, some people read conicoid some people read uh, conicoid etc basically it stands for sphere ellipsoid paraboloid um, what do you call a sphere you know right the three dimensional version of a circle similarly ellipse Soid will be like what you call like a rugby football and a paraboloid will be like the dish antennas that you see etc etc and this three dimensional okay imagine a spear for the convenience sake imagine a spear getting cut by a plane once a spear is cut by a plane you'll be able to see a circle okay that is a conic now what we are going to do here is look right now we are in three dimension and right now uh, I think you are able to see the conic here and we are going to derive the equation of the cone passing through the origin and this one as the guiding curve. So once more let me make it very clear we want the equation of a cone with vertex origin. And our cone will have a guiding curve or basically our cone intersects a conic. And it will be formed by the intersection of a plane and a conicoid. Okay. So I will give you one question. Okay. Find the equation of a cone with vertex origin and the guiding curve. Guiding curve means the conic is given by x square by 4 plus y square by 9 plus z square by 1 is equal to 1 x plus y plus z is equal to 1 so look at this we are given an ellipsoid and a plane so basically uh, what we have to understand is they are talking about the intersection of they are basically talking about the intersection of this ellipsoid and the plane. And we know that when the ellipsoid and the plane intersect, an ellipse will be formed. Now we are interested in a cone. We are interested in a cone. Um, what do you call? Which will have this ellipse as the guiding curve. Or a cone through the vertex and the intersection of these two things okay so the method is just like what you did long back you homogenize the conicoid you homogenize the ellipsoid here 
using the plane that means you make the equation of the conicoid homogeneous so look at this x square by 4 plus y square by 9 plus z square by 1 degree to degree to degree to is equal to 1 now look at this one is a constant constant will have degree 0 so what we do is we write this one as one squared now what we are going to do is a very simple thing we are going to borrow the value of one from the plane so according to the equation of the plane one is equal to x plus y plus z so we are going to make it homogeneous so x squared by 4 plus y square by 9 plus z square by 1 is equal to what will I do instead of 1 I'll put x plus y plus z the whole square that's it now look at this we have a homogeneous equation of degree 2 now remember every homogeneous equation of degree 2 represents a cone every homogeneous second degree equation in three variables represents a cone with vertex origin so definitely this is the required equation now let's go for the graphics behind the like what you call the last problem so first of all i'll show you the conicoid that's the ellipsoid i hope you're able to see the three-dimensional version of the ellipse okay now what happened the conicoid and a plane intersected so look at this are you able to see the intersection of the conicoid and the plane it is an ellipse I'll make it more clear for you I'll show you the intersection can you see that intersection are you able to see an ellipse are you able to see the ellipse yeah okay now we want the equation of a cone now what do we want we want the equation of a cone can do one thing I'll remove the grid now we want a cone which will pass through the origin and the intersection are you able to see it's like a little bit big I'll try to show you can you see the cone is so big that's why you're not able to see clearly can you see our cone passes through that intersection are you able to see that our cone passes through that intersection and see the vertex of the cone is the origin I hope you are able to see okay by the way I want to tell uh, one more very important thing because once more uh, I want you to look at the structure called cone so basically every cone will have a guiding curve and a fixed point called vertex and what you do is you collect all the lines that pass through the uh, that point and the what you call on that touch the what you call that guiding curve so basically a cone looks like this so never expect uh, a cone looking only like this uh, mathematically this is how a cone looks like a part will be above and a part will be below but when you buy ice creams when you see the funnels when you see the factory chimneys etc you may be able to see only one part of the cone but this is the mathematical structure called cone okay if you want you can see that picture that graphics once more see can you see okay let's go for the next question it's also very simple okay find the equation of a cone uh, with vertex origin so what is the vertex of the cone origin and it is passing through the intersection of the plane lx plus my plus nz equal to p and a x square plus b y square plus c z square is equal to 1 so same story same story vertex is origin and it passes through the intersection of a plane and a conicoid okay so what do we do we homogenize the conicoid with the help of the plane 
So the conicoid is AX square degrees to plus BY square degrees to plus CZ square degrees to is equal to 1. Degree became 0 so I am going to write that 1 as 1 squared. Now from the plane what you do is you create 1 by dividing throughout by the constant. Because if you divide throughout by x or y or z term to create 1, uh, you will never be able to make it homogeneous. You can think about it later. So I am going to divide throughout by p. So I get lx plus my plus nz, uh, the whole divided by p is equal to 1. Now I just uh, plug in that 1 there and that's it. Our job is done and, and that's the equation. And of course you can simplify. Um, you can expand it, you can simplify, you can do whatever you like, that's your headache and that's something very easy for a bachelor student. So basically this is the required cone, see it's a homogeneous thing and always remember the speciality of this cone is it will have vertex origin and it will what you call the guiding curve will be the conic section formed by the intersection of these two things. Okay, now we'll do one last problem and wind up this video. So, uh, show that the equation of a cone with vertex origin and guiding curve, the circle x square plus y square plus z square minus ax minus by minus c z equal to 0 comma x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1. Okay, here comes the fun. So look at this. They use the word guiding curve as a circle. But what did they do? They are giving you a sphere. That is a conicoid. And a plane. Come on, we have seen so many problems in spheres and planes etc. What do they mean? when they use the word circle and then they give you a sphere and a plane. Look at this, when they talk or when they use the word circle by giving sphere and a plane, you have to understand that they are talking about the circle of intersection. Oh, so very easy. Look, vertex is origin and the guiding curve is the intersection of the conicoid and the plane. So what should we do? We have to homogenize. So easy. Look at this. So you can write the given conicoid is x square plus y square plus z square minus ax minus by minus cz equal to 0. Degree 2, degree 2, degree 2. x means degree is 1. So into 1, into 1, into 1. That is x square plus y square plus z square minus I am going to take that one common. Now what do we do? I have to replace this 1 from the equation of the plane. So the required cone is the required cone is x square plus y square plus z square minus ax plus by plus cz times x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 0. That's it. Now you can expand it and simplify because in the examination they will definitely ask you to simplify this. And there are so many versions. In some year they ask this directly. Sometimes they will make it prove that question, etc, uh, etc. Et and sometimes they make a horrible question out of this, literally a horror movie out of this. Instead of giving this curve, uh, instead of giving this conicoid, they ask you to derive it. And when they ask the question in words, it looks literally like a horror movie. So please be aware of it. And always remember, these types of questions are very easy. So remember, instead of giving this spear, they normally say, uh, like what you call a spear through the points. Uh, the speciality of this spear is, this spear passes through the origin. This spear passes through A00, 0, 0, 0 B0 0, and 0, 0, C. So they can make different, different versions of this question. Um, so please be aware of it. And remember this question is like literally easy. Once you understand. Okay, so I hope 
you like the video so i'll be back with more videos and in the next video that will be the last video in code we will learn one technique to check whether the given equation represents a cone or not so till then my friends bye